Stacy. I am one of the two people who bought this old school house, Union Joint Number 9 in Franklin, Indiana. We're two Franklin residents who grew up here and we just bought this school to renovate and fix up over the next couple years so that we can turn it into our family home. Okay, so here we've got our first video tour of Union Joint Graded School Number 9. We bought this school in August and we're starting to renovate the inside. The school opened 1913 or 1914, we're still figuring it out, but I'm gonna show you all the inside. This is the entrance. Uh, right now, this is falling down a little bit and I don't think we can really repair it. Uh, we went to the museum to find some old pictures of the school to see if we can restore it back to as original as we can get it. So this is the front entrance. There's a second entrance here. Got the original wood floors. And you come in here and there's a bunch of doors. So we're not quite sure what we're gonna do with this middle room here, but the layout of the school is that there's one classroom, two classrooms that way, three classrooms, four classrooms. But there's a family living in it before and we're really thankful that they were able to keep it so that we could buy it and restore it today. Here is one of the northern classrooms. And in here it was the kitchen before. There were some drop ceilings that we took out and that's why the tops of the windows are covered up. So eventually we're gonna have full length windows where all of these are. Um, there's a lot of plaster on the walls. There isn't any of the original chalkboard left. There's nothing, nothing behind this. So we also have the original wood floors. We're gonna save as much of the floors as we possibly can. And so we got some construction materials here so that we can shore up some of the things as we're starting to do the restorations. And then here's a view from the other side of the room. We got some really big brick, paving brick walls <laughs> behind this plaster. So through this door, uh, this, these rooms um, are actually, you know, some, some walls that we're going to be knocking down this week, drop ceiling will be going. Um, but behind, behind these walls is another uh, classroom that kind of feels like a hidden room from when, uh, when we, after we bought it, we didn't even know that that room was there. So all of this, will be going so that we can open this up as much as possible. Next up, we've got one of the entrance rooms, and this is one of the things that we're gonna try to, you know, knock through here and open this up as much as possible. Uh, haven't been able to open that yet because I don't have the right tools. <laughs> but down here, we can kind of see the, the hidden room that I was talking about. So back here, we've just got some, some beams to repair, uh, some brick to tuck point and just a lot of work to do in here. But this eventually will be our kitchen because it is the the southwest side of the building. So it'll be good to have as much light as possible in the evening when we're cooking. And then here's inside this, what we've been calling the secret room, just a different view. Again, lots to repair on the ceiling. There's some built-in bookcases. There's a lot of stuff that we need to clear out, but pretty beautiful views outside the window. You can't see in this video, but it's just farmland and some houses and some trees. This is going out to the garage. We're actually going to give away the metal from this garage and save all of the wood, um, just to get rid of some of this other stuff. And we're gonna be building a different brick garage back here with a little roof deck, we think. There are also some really cool details still left to the house. This, this iron railing we wanna save and use somewhere. So trying to save as much as possible as we can in here. So back this way, we're 
looking back on the entry of this house and we're gonna go to the little room that mirrors it. So we're back in the, the entrance room and there's another room that looks just like the one we were just in. Um, it has some really, really thick <laughs> walls where there's some really big brick behind the plaster. And then this was an exit for the previous family who was living here inside. So this kind of looks through the backyard. And then there's like a little hole that they used to put firewood for what's going to be our bedroom. But we're gonna figure out like what we can do with the walls that that are here. This was a closet. This wall might end up going so that we can open it up as much as possible and create the shapes of rooms that, that we will need for our home. So we're back in the entrance. This time we're gonna go over here. Here is the entrance to the basement, which we'll go down later. This room is going to end up being our bedroom. Right now it's the room that needs the most work in the ceiling. Um, we're gonna have to shore up some of the beams and replace things as well. But this, this room looks southeast, so it'll be really nice in the morning to have that morning light come through. And we think originally there was a window here. We're gonna, this fireplace is not original. We're going to knock this out and put glass doors that go out onto a deck that lead to the backyard. So we're gonna figure out what we, what we do with with the walls, all this paneling is not original, so we're gonna say goodbye to that this week, but uh, this will end up being being our bedroom. I'll show you the view out of the, the east. So this is kind of what the backyard looks like. So here I'm looking north from our bedroom. Uh, these, we believe, are not original to the school, so we're gonna figure out what to do with that. All these walls are gonna be coming down this week. Uh, there'll be a bathroom here and uh, each of these rooms we're gonna turn back into rooms about this size so that these can be rooms for all of the, the kids. So we'll also save save this really cool cloth at tub and get it re-enameled and um, just you know one of the things that we want to preserve in the house. And here's what the view looks like from the north side of the house. Just a beautiful Indiana scene. <laughs> so we'll exit what was a bathroom. Again, here's our bedroom. And then we turn. These walls again are coming down. This will be another kid's room. And then we go back into this entryway full of doors. Okay, and now the basement light. Got, it's pretty dark in here. Gonna go down these stairs. There's no lights down here. Gotta get some construction lights. So sorry, this video is not gonna be as bright, but there are plenty of windows down here. So this is kind of what it looks like when you get down into the basement. This actually used to be the old engine, we believe. Um, that they took out. There was one funny story that we found at the museum where a kid attached a live wire to the engine and attached another end of the wire to uh, the principal's door handle and shocked him. So, fun things that you discover at the museum. And here is the northeast room. There's a lot of light. We're gonna have to redo a lot of the concrete in here, um, shore up some of the beams do some tuck pointing. A lot of work to be done in here, but eventually we'll think it'll become something like a guest room and storage and um, guest suite, I mean. So, but we, this will be a secondary plan to figure out after we get all of this shored up and fixed and sealed up. Here's the west side of the basement. It's not really a basement. It's kind of like a sub-basement. 
But in here is the northwest side. Obviously some, some water stuff. This old pot belly stove. Not sure what we'll end up doing with this. But there's a sump right there. Out here you can see my dad and Sean talking about stuff. <laughs> and now we'll go to the Southwest room. We're gonna try to save all the doors, get them stripped and refinished. And here is the Southwest room. So obviously there's some water getting in here because it's got some plants growing, but a lot of fixing to do. There used to be a lot of cricket spiders in here, which I didn't know about <laughs> until we bought this place. But this place will get a lot of light. Going back up the stairs, and I'm now gonna go show a little bit of the yard. So again, we're back in the entryway. <laughs> so pretty cool. Go outside. So this is the view from the front of the house. It's just gorgeous Indiana farmland. And as you walk around the school, you can see it's a pretty imposing structure for the rural layout. And you know, this school, it's it's something that we always used to drive by on the way to cross country meets and cross country practice. And uh, since we grew up together, we always kind of talked about buying the old elementary school that, that we went to. And so it's just kind of crazy to us that we've been able to buy this. This is the west side of the backyard. There's a little barn back there that we're gonna be using to store things as we're doing restorations. And then this garage, we will be replacing with, with a brick garage with a deck on top. And these windows right here, uh, they've been bricked up, but we're going to unbrick them. This eventually will be our kitchen, and we're going to turn these into glass doors that walk out onto the deck that will be on top of our garage. This is the eastern side of the back of the school. There's another set of brick windows that have been or another set of windows that have been bricked up. Uh, this will end up being our bedroom. We're going to build another deck out here and we're going to hopefully turn this into another set of glass doors that overlooks the backyard from, from our bedroom and uh, we'll be able to walk out on the deck. Here is the Southwest part of the backyard. You can see there's a lot of really mature trees. Uh, apparently there's some plaques on some of these trees because the students in the school would plant them for Arbor Day. This is the barn that we'll be keeping for a little bit and then fixing up. Here's the back of the school from the yard. Just love the views of the fields. And I am super excited about this plant. So in Indiana, sometimes called a maypop. Uh, it's also, I can't really see with these flowers, but it's a passion fruit tree. Oh my gosh, there's a little, hello Mr. Insect show off this flower. I have tried growing these on my terrace in New York City and it died over the winter so I'm so excited to see such a mature mature maypop. Uh, these aren't ripe yet but pretty sure we can use these in some cocktails eventually when they when they ripen up. Here's what the maypops look like on the inside. But mostly they're just like the prettiest, prettiest tropical flowers that you can grow in Indiana. And then here is the southeast quadrant of the yard. More mature trees, 
some stuff to pick up, but just some gorgeous Indiana land. Here's the east side of the building. We'll be taking off the metal on the top of those windows, and then we'll also be turning these bricked up areas into windows again. Just get as much light as possible in the schoolhouse. And that's it. That's uh, episode one of Schoolhouse Homestead. Filmed on my iPhone. Sorry, this is Sean. <laughs> Got a lot of work to do. <laughs>